Hey guys, it's Mike from MW3 Designs and in today's video we're going to go over how we can engrave on this powder coated metal beard comb. Now what we're going to do is we're going to engrave a little American flag in this and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to remove that coating to expose the bare metal underneath using uh, the K40 CO2 laser. So let's dive right into that and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So I have uh, these templates that I cut out and uh, basically it's an AutoCAD uh, drawing of the outline of the product that I'm going to be putting in there. I put a sheet of white paper down to protect the back of the product itself and then insert the template into the same spot each time. I use a magnet to hold it down and then we'll uh, load the product up. And what I have here today is I have a powder coated piece of metal. Uh, this is a metal comb provided by aircomb.com. Uh, I'm going to stick that right into our template here. And we're going to get ready to uh, burn off that powder coating. Okay, so for engraving this comb here, I'm using a power of 38% and running it at 250 millimeters a second. And uh, this does a good job of uh, getting that coating off to reveal the brushed metal underneath. Uh, which gives it a really great look and one of the good things about CO2 lasers is they don't uh, change any of the properties of the metal underneath, uh, not like a fiber laser. Uh, so basically whatever finish you have underneath that uh, powder coated uh, item is going to be the finish that you're going to see. So if you have a brushed uh, metal, a polished metal, anything that's underneath that powder coat you're going to see. Um, and if you have a sandblasted finish you're going to get a rough uh, sandblasted look uh, once that powder coating is removed with the laser. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pull this out of the template here and show you what we got. So this is right out of the laser. As you can see, there is a little bit of uh, dust from the powder coat, which is just the powder coat that was burned off. And what we're going to do is uh, just take a, uh, I have a cotton pad that I like to use, uh, and then I'll put a little alcohol on there, denatured alcohol, and then we'll just wipe that clean. And what that's going to do is it's going to just wipe off any of that residue to reveal the uh, good metal look underneath. Um, sometimes with certain products, I might use a, a fine toothbrush just to get into some of the, the finer marks, like say like the stars on here. Uh, but this right now, the cotton pad is going to do a pretty good job of keeping everything clean. And uh, it definitely reveals a, a pretty cool look underneath. And like I said, the CO2 laser, it doesn't change uh, you know, the metal underneath. Uh, it keeps that same look uh, that you would have had before the powder coating was applied. A uh, really great uh, tool for uh, engraving on powder coated items. As a little added bonus here, I'm going to show you a little packaging trick that I do with the K40. Uh, again, here I have a template uh, file, which is just, just a piece of uh, cardstock paper. Uh, it helps me align uh, the piece of foam board that I'm going to put in here for the packaging. Uh, and as you can see, you just I lay that over uh, what I'm going to be cutting out. And magnets, of course, are your friend. It keeps holding everything down, especially when you're using the air assist. Uh, and again, I have a CAD drawing right here, which is going to be my cutout for the packaging for that comb that we just engraved on. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cut this. Uh, I'm going to be cutting it at, I believe I'm cutting at a 14%, uh, 14 millimeter speed with 24% power uh, is what I have on here. And this is just foam board and I'm using air assist. Uh, no air assist with the powder removal uh, when you do the engraving on the powder coated item. You don't want to use any air assist because uh, it'll just burn and clean off without it. Uh, so let's go ahead and speed this up. All right, so this is all cut out. Foam board is a very easy material to cut on a uh, CO2 laser. Uh, you know, you just got to make sure you dial in your settings so that, you know, you don't uh, have anything catching on fire or anything like that. Um, and as you can see here, it's a two-piece uh, that I made. Uh, now I'll glue this together with a, uh, you know, just a, a white craft glue. And uh, there's a little hole in the back there so you can remove the product after the product's inserted. And uh, those two little ears that you see uh, sticking out on the front there, uh, those are actually to hold the product in place. Uh, you know, this is something that was uh, drawn in AutoCAD you know, specific for that product. Uh, and as you can see, it does a good job of holding the product inside the package. And, uh, you know, you put this in a final box, and uh, it's pretty much ready to go to a customer. So, you know, this is uh, basically from a, a raw product to a finished product, you know, using a simple laser 
uh, you know, as simple as the K40, you know. So uh, don't underestimate the power of uh, the small laser. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and uh, drop them in the comments. Thank you for watching.